So you may find yourself trying to rotate around a model and as you click on the canvas and you rotate, you'll see that with the XYZ turned on, you're rotating on all axes. It's basically allowing you to go on this axis and around this way, but it's very hard to rotate your object on the Z axis. So for that, they have the option to rotate on the Z axis here, which will try and spin your object kind of along that way rather than up or to the side. So the z-axis basically is their attempt to do that. As I'm sure you know, when you have XYZ held on and you press shift, as you approach a view, whether it be a side view or front view, it will snap to that view. I'll turn off perspective so this is more evident. You can see here by the floor, as I approach an angle, if I press shift, it will snap to that view as I hold and let go shift. I can do that snap to any view like that and whichever as soon as long as you're close to it it's going to snap to the nearest available view but if you want to rotate just on the z axis what you can do is you can press shift click and then let go of shift and while your click is still held down now you just rotate around that axis you'll see that the pivot point is over here if i press w that's that's where my pivot point is so if i move it instead by holding down alt and move it down to here for example now when i press shift and click on the canvas it's going to pivot around that point. So this gives you a lot of control over how you might want to rotate on the Z axis. The only issue with this is that when you go into a, a three quarter view, if you still want to rotate based on screen space, I'll just press Q to go back into this mode. If I press shift and I click, if I hold it for long enough, it's just going to snap to the nearest available axis. So if that's not what you're looking for, you have to press shift and click and then let go of shift fairly quickly. So shift, click, let go of shift, and now you can rotate on that axis based on the screen space. So as usual, hope this tip helps and don't forget to click like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. All right, cheers, bye.